you know, this move from nature as well. So, so you know, when you're in nature, <clears throat> and obviously, sort of, you know, some of these people living in nature don't have it. You know, we, we, it's easy to sort of, uh, you know, see it through rose to did spectacles oh, course, and, and so forth. But um, but a lot of people are missing that, aren't they? Everything's mm. represented, as you say, through uh, screens. Yes, for one thing. So people could be working all day on the screen, mm. on the tube on the way home. They could be looking into their phone. They get yes. home and, and they're watching the screen again. And there's very little actually actual um, lifeblood experience going on. But you know, an, an immediate kind of connection to the land or to. The environment, or, or no, you don't like that word. I don't like that word. Nature, should nature. We say. I, nothing wrong with good old nature. <laughs> Who is a goddess, which <clears> means <throat> that which is about to be born, which is wonderful. Whereas the environment is something technical and bureaucratic that can be managed and subdued for our purpose. Mm, used as a resource. And is <clears throat> environing me, but isn't anything to do with me. Whereas I and you and all of us come out of nature and return to nature, and we're never separate from nature, but we can be cut off from it. That's right. And we are part of the universe as well. Yeah, we are that as well. Yeah, the universe isn't something, you can be interested in the universe, then you're interested in yourself because you are the universe or you're in the universe. Well, certainly in many spiritual traditions, that would be the sort of way in which things are said. But I also think it makes no sense to, as some people do, to um, create this picture of, of humanity as this tragic, you know, being unloved in a harsh cosmos who carves out a place of meaning in it and, you know, none of it adds up to anything. The universe is impassive and has nothing to do with them. Mm. Because if out of this process comes something like Bach St. Matthew Passion, where has it come from? Uh, from somewhere outside the universe, or is that stuff actually somewhere in the universe? Well, it's obviously in the universe. It's expressible by people when they find it. But so, well, we, us talking about the universe, not to sound too grandiose or self-important, but us talking about the universe, is the universe talking about itself? Well, I believe so. There's a long backstory to that, but effectively... Uh, and it would take a couple of hours, um, but uh, I do think that the evidence is that what consciousness is, is the conscious universe becoming aware of itself through us, through all living things, indeed. Well, we'll get on to that at some point in the future. Yeah, I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm sure we will.